today. Parlez-vous français? I don't very well, but children can learn new languages much faster than adults, so why not give them the benefit of a bilingual education? Here to tell us how is Mehdi Lazar from, I hope I say this correctly, mm -hmm. Ecole Bilingue de Berkeley. Perfect. Is that right? Very nice. That's French for you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's talk about the advantages of a child becoming bilingual. For sure, there are many advantages, actually. There are numerous. To start with, cognitive advantages. Mm -hmm. uh, bilingual children usually outperform monolingual children or counterparts in standardized testing. But they have more plasticity of the brain, more flexibility. They are more divergent thinkers, an ability to think differently, to see the world from different viewpoints. They have more multitasking abilities, for instance. They are more able to attend to relevant information. And the research, the research shows all that. So that, that's very encouraging. On top of that, there are more sensitivity towards others. They are expressing more empathy for their listeners, for instance, so more interpersonal skills. And it gives a head start in accessing the best high schools and universities and after that jobs, of course. Well, it's hard to learn a language and not learn about the culture. So that would sympathize, that would make you sympathize from, Absolutely. from with other people. Okay, so how can we help children become bilingual, especially if as a parent you are not bilingual? Right, so there are many ways to do that. Maybe in your family, first of all, because your partner speaks another language or your aunt or grandparents. If that's not the case, you can find a structure for that, such as an immersion school like ours. In that case, what you need is continuity and the quality and the quantity of the exposure to the target language or second language. And if you do so, then across time, children will learn the second language very easily because they learn it subconsciously mm -hmm. through interacting with peers and teachers, through playing, and it's, it's really, it, it's a gift for life. So it will stay forever and it will change the way the, the brain is wired for the children. And is it younger, the better? Because I took French in high school and I remember Je m'appelle Michel and right. that's about it. <laughs> yes, well, so you need a long time. You need dedication and commitment to learning that language. Yes. So earlier, the better for sure, for okay. many reasons. And one of the reasons is pronunciation. Mm -hmm. You can hear from my accent that I learned later on in life, the English language. But if you learn early enough, then you don't have an accent. Your pronunciation is perfect. And that's one of the many advantages of studying early. Okay, and this wonderful school that you just mentioned, um, tell me about that. It's a full immersion? Yes, so we teach in French and English, and we have a third language starting in sixth grade, but mostly we teach different subject matters in languages. We don't teach French or English. We teach in French and in English different subject matters, such as social studies, mathematics, and that's called immersion or dual immersion, which is perfect for children because they will gain the language capabilities, but also they, ha they will have, hence, more cognitive abilities. Plus, they will be bicultural mm -hmm. and biliterate. Because, I mean, you could have some students in there when they first go, maybe the first day of school, saying, mm, I don't understand that, but, uh, but eventually they pick up. Absolutely. They pick it up. Yes, absolutely, because we have more support. We have images and, mm -hmm. and cartoons, and we play, and so by interacting, it's done very naturally. And what are the disadvantages of a child becoming bilingual? Any? Real quick. Well, not, not many, actually. Some are that it requires dedication, so you have to stick to it. Another one, if you're bilingual in your family, is that sometimes it could be emotionally draining. You have to remind the child that, no, it's time to speak Japanese no, or German. Sure. Other than that, it's really a gift. Okay. Well, Mehdi, thank you so much for coming on the thank show. Thank you for having me. I'll work on my French. There you go. Just a little bit. And don't forget, there is an auction and a gala coming up for the school. It's on April 7th from 5.30 to midnight. It's at the Claremont Hotel in Berkeley. There's going to be food cocktails, a silent and live auction, and you'll get a chance to practice your French. There you go. <laughs> now, a special treat after the break. Stanford and Cal will be doing it a cappella. Stanford girl, she's been living in her white red world. Stop. 